Hello, welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today I am making a very special soap. It's a custom order soap. I'm going to be making breast milk soap today, uh, and it's for my daughter. She uh, had some breast milk left over. She just weaned her son. He's over a year and a half old, and I asked if I could have it and make soap out of it. I've seen other soapers do it, and I'm very curious. I I love breastfeeding. I nursed all four of my children for over a year each, and I think if you're able to nurse, I think it's wonderful. It's got health benefits for mom and baby. And I think that breast milk, because I do make a lot of different milk soaps with coconut milk and goat milk and cow milk, and um, why not human breast milk? I mean, you're not gonna find anything more suited to your skin than your own breast milk and your baby. So. Uh, I'm very excited to try this. She just has a little bit, so it's going to be a small batch of soap. This will be my first time ever making it. And um, so come along as I make breast milk soap. And just in the name of full disclosure, I probably wouldn't uh, market breast milk soap to just anybody. I would keep it as a custom order. So one mother's milk for one family, her family. Um, that's how I would approach this. Just I have no idea what the regulations would even be on something like that. But I think if it's soap for a person and it's their milk, I think that it would be wonderful. So I'm really excited to see how this goes today. Also, if you enjoy my videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe. And I'm also on Instagram and Facebook if you want more up-to-date soaping pictures and inspiration and what I'm up to in the soap studio. Go check that out too. Thank you. All right, I am ready to roll with my wonderful breast milk soap here. So I've got my oils and butters all melted down and cooling here. And to this, I've added some colloidal oatmeal, organic colloidal oats, because um, that's really soothing. And I know my daughter and her son don't have any oat allergies, so that's in there. So here is my breast milk lye solution. Um, and it's just got, I, had, I needed just a couple ounces of uh, extra because it was a little shy so I used aloe vera juice so this is breast milk and aloe vera juice organic aloe vera um, with tussa silk fibers in here and of course like any milk it did get orange um, I had the breast milk frozen to kind of a slushy consistency but it still got very hot uh, so I gave it an ice bath and it will cure out to a nice creamy beigey brown it won't stay orange like that but there is my lye solution here so hmm yeah that's cool enough so if uh, this does not trace too quickly I have some clays over here I bought this red Moroccan clay in bulk on Amazon and I'll link link it down below and I bought this French green clay now I thought this was interesting here's my old French green clay and that's the new stuff I don't know why it's such a different color uh, I like that color better, but this is what I got. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and add my little milk solution here. And at the end of the video, maybe I'll throw in a picture of my one of my beautiful daughters. I have two beautiful daughters and grandchildren by both of them, but uh, this one is my youngest daughter, and maybe I'll throw a picture of her and her little guy up for you and hoping that she will have more babies. I love babies. So, I'm feeling very blessed. I have three grandchildren currently at the time of filming this and it is wonderful. They're all so precious to me and unique. They're little personalities. I have two grandsons and a granddaughter and she's, my granddaughter Zoe, she is just a card. She is a hoot. I love her. Her little personality goes for miles. But this is my little grandson, my youngest grandson, by my youngest daughter, who also happens to be my youngest child. Oh, let me also tell you, um, I texted her and said, I'm making the soap today. Uh, is unscented what you want? And she said, no, she wanted some fragrance in there. And I didn't have the two scents that she wanted. Um, she asked for either calendula or chamomile. I didn't have that essential oil. But a close third was lavender, and I did have lavender essential oil. So I just put a little teeny bit in there. She said go really light on the fragrance, but she wanted a little in there. And since this is custom for her, 
that's what we did. So um, I forgot to say that when I did the oils and the colloidal oats, I did put the essential oil in there already. So this is being very nice and smooth. I just want to make sure it's all incorporated. All right. Pull this out and I'm going to whisk it up just a little before I split. And so what I did was I went online to a soap calculator. I like the Sage's soap calculator. Um, and I knew the amount of liquid that I had. And so I figured out from that, I looked at my recipes and halved them and then halved them again and kept going down until I got to the amount that I wanted. Um, and that is how I, this is just my regular recipe that I just went down and down and ran it through the calculator. Uh, so I'm going to look here. I want these to be kind of even with the two different clays because I think they're both equally wonderful clays. But it's always hard because the diameter of this one's bigger so it looks like so much less. I think that is about good. I'll put just a little more over here. All right. Now, my beautiful red Moroccan, I'll just do a teaspoon in here, nice heaping teaspoon. And my French green, do a nice heaping teaspoon in there. All right. All right, I think I will do the red clay first. All right, we'll come on over to the green here. Got these at a nice sort of thin pourable trace and I don't think I'm going to need my second mold but we've got it there anyway I'm just going to try and double pour uh, and get these kind of swirly together And I'm back the next morning here with my lavender and clay scented breast milk soap, which I think is a really neat um, I never understood why some people were creeped out by breastfeeding. It's so natural and healthy and wonderful and it's not something to be creeped out about. This is a little soft. I'm wondering if I should wait to unmold it but there are the colors and it just smells gentle and very subtle. I knocked that one a little 